Hello, Mr. Nygren here. Welcome back to Simit 1. So I have added some new characters since last time, and I have a new microphone. It has way better, like, uh, a way better headset. It was way more costly than my old one. It's, it uh, fits my ears way better. And it's more steady on the head, and uh, yeah, everything is better. Okay, so we are back in Simit 1, the new engine for The Sims 1. First released in 2017, I downloaded it in December 2020 for the first time on the other computer. Okay, but the characters were recently added to this uh, this computer, the latest ones in the last two days, actually, during the last two days. But I have uh, <coughs> added some characters from the other computer too that I did uh, back in 2020 and then Okay, so we checked out the Final Fantasy VII family previously. They've done some changes there. So we have uh, these characters. We can check out the family again. Oh, by the way, they were on a trip and I had no choice but to save when I left the, the lot. I tried to get the Shaolin knife mod to work, but it, it didn't happen. I didn't, at least I couldn't find the weapon. Uh, I believe in, in the original game. I also had a problem finding it, so maybe I just don't know where to find it, but anyway, I, I, I didn't succeed in getting any weapons. So I added the old Jaffe uh, body, but used the new head. Well, I do prefer the hair of the other Jaffe head. I didn't like the, the face. But it was possible to use this head on the old body. And I kind of prefer this body over the other one, as it looks like the original, with this cool shoulder pad and, and such. I just liked it more, but I'm using the more modern adventure head for Yaffe. Of course it starts the same way it always does. I had saved after playing for two hours or something, uh, but I replaced or overwrote that save. When I added new characters, I had no choice but to overwrite it. It's the Sims 1 file, <coughs> so there is no prob uh, there is no point playing the game uh, before I've, I'm, I'm done with adding all the characters because I will always end up replacing or overwriting the user data folder. This folder is deleted, which is the folder that contains my save game data and everything, and then. I add like the, the changed user data folder from the Sims folder, folder of the Sims 1 game, which overwrites this one and uh, or replaces this one, and uh, <coughs> that ends with any say game data being overwritten. So I am in the beginning again, but as I had tried out that uh, knife mod, I believe that they were back from that trip tried it out in the original game, that's why I end up starting just after the trip. Uh, and by the way, <coughs> uh, I tried to port lots to the game, but I couldn't do it. Uh, they, they worked fine in, uh, in the neighborhoods. If I added, for example, a castle here, it, it looked fine in this view. But then when I clicked on it, the, the, there was a, an error, like a white like uh, background with a lot of text and then it crashed so I failed to add uh, custom uh, lots and custom houses unfortunately I don't believe that's possible at least not um, unless you know how to convert all the files of the lot into 3d files I believe they are not in 3d maybe I don't know <clears throat> but I, I get CTD or crash to desktop when I try to add custom lots and custom houses. However, I did manage to add uh, some some cats and and dogs. So I tried, for example, adding uh, Pikachu and Nine Tails to the Pokémon family. But the problem is that in Sims One they looked fine, but in Simit One they do not have their texture for their body. So I believe the the tails are props. So they automatically get their the texture and then I believe the head gets the texture with another character I believe Umbreon another Pokemon character I believe that 
which also replaced one of the cats. I believe that the, the body was the right color, but the head was the vanilla dog instead of vanilla cat. So <coughs> with, the, with the pets in 3D Enhancer, they only have one model. So they have one model, including the props, like the tail, and the head, and the body. So they are, everything is one model. But in, in the files there are two models. So the head is separate from the body, and the body is separate from, from the head. Which means that um, <coughs> that when I add them in 3D Enhance, they have um, a working texture, but when I add them to the game, only one of the models get the texture and the other one is a silver surfer. I tried fixing it, but I failed. If you check this one, for example, you can see that uh, Umbreon, which is a replacement for a real human character, works fine. Look at, uh, I mean, uh, look Lucario, this Pokemon. Uh, he's just, uh, I, I believe, a human looking like a Pokemon. Uh, but this one, which is a cat, has the right like uh, skin for the body, but has the wrong face. So it's like the texture only applies to one of the models. Uh, because it seems that the, the game treats them as two different models, but in the 3D Enhancer program they are one, so it causes a problem. They in Sims 1 look fine, but in Simit 1 they end up with only one model having the right texture and the other one having the wrong one. By the way, I replaced Ash and Brock with Lucario and Umbreon. Unfortunately, Umbreon doesn't look right. <coughs> and I added the two additional uh, characters here, but unfortunately they also do not look right. Uh, when speaking about pets, I did add a Final Fantasy pet to the Final Fantasy 7 family and it actually looks great. So this evil family from Final Fantasy 7, you have characters like Sephiroth, the main evil guy of Final Fantasy 7, and Final Fantasy 7 Adventure, and we have Kadai, we have Loss, we have Yasuo, <coughs> we have Genesis, and we have Angeal. All of them are evil except Angeal. He's like uh, Zach Fair's mentor. Unfortunately, there was no place for him. I believe that you can only have eight family members per family in the original game and in Sims 2, 3, and 4. In uh, Sims 1, we can have up to 27 family members in a family, but only if we create the family within Sims 1. I can't move over more than eight family members through the 3 Enhancer tool, and if I create them in Sims 1, they can only be eight. And uh, unfortunately, <coughs> I have no choice but to create them in Sims 1, as not all the Moodle files load in Sims 1 in the Create a Sim menu. So we can see here that we have the character as a pet, but it's an actual... Uh, <coughs> it's an actual uh, prop file. So the, the pet is an actual dog, I believe, which is invin invisible. And then the, the, this character is like the tail attached to the pet. So it tricks the eye into thinking that, that it's a, an actual character pet. And it looks kind of cool too when it moves. <coughs> but the pet is an invisible dog and this is more like a prop added to the pet. But because it's invisible, uh, the game tricks the, the player into thinking that this is the pet, and it looks kind of decent anyway. Just like the tails of the other animals looked fine. You can see that it walks very weird, and that's because it's just a model attached to the dog. And it's not actually the dog. So yeah, I was surprised at how good this one looked. He counts as a dog, I believe. You see their needs, of course they are unemployed, they are animals, and they have relationships too. So we have a unique character from Final Fantasy VII, which looked cool. It's one of the enemies in Final Fantasy VII. And uh, yeah, in Sims 1 